It is game seven. It's right here. It's right now. And it's on EA Sports. Let's go. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Moves it quickly over to Olsen. Oh, what a save in front. There's another stop. Hunt pass was difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles and he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Quick pass to Kiro. Can't get it to go. Steps into the offensive end. Moves it to the middle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Foodies gain possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Great read with the stick. Solid check to slow him down. Feeds it to Winterton. Coachella Valley's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Colorado's got possession of the puck. making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still scoreless in this one. The Eagles win the draw on their own end. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Coming to the slot. Nice save from point blank range. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Smith's got it across the line. Fires it on net. Oh, puts it wide and oh, no, he wants that one back. Yeah, you can see the frustration right there. I think there was a sense of urgency, but he had more time than he thought. The Eagles have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Puts it on net, blocked away by Trigger. Coachella Valley's got a hold of the puck now. Picked up along the boards by Fleury. Handles the puck from the left side. Sends the pass over. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, there's one more. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Moves it to Tuft. Coachella Valley's got the puck. Great reach with the poke check. Dumps it in. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. Hayden's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. And he slides it quickly to Olsen. Intercepted. A chance in front. He scores! What an opportunity and delivers!
The Eagles finally break the ice and get the game's first goal. Yeah, and it's an important one, James, because there's not much room out there and not much separating these two teams. So that little bit of a cushion may give them the stir, the press they need to be more consistent, try and get another one on the board. Musa quickly over to Carrick. Coachella Valley's got him along the wall. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. And he takes the pass. Poked away in the neutral zone. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. And a stiff break set up. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. From the blue line. Oh, you gotta love the effort as he blocks that. And now he moves it quickly to Olsson. Puck exits the zone. Taken by Winterton. Takes a shot. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one that came out. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Sends it quickly to Olsson. Back at the point, he's set up. Makes the save with the chopper. Big hit that frees up possession. The Firebirds have it against the wall. Here we go, look at this thing, scores! And we are tied. New game here, partner. Oh yeah, it's a new game, James. Ah, uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. This is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area, the puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. Past the midway mark of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. The Firebirds win possession here in the open ice. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. We got a stoppage, let's get the call. The Firebirds have been handed a two minute penalty for tripping. time tonight an opportunity on their first power play of the game James and this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well see how they're playing it whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back slides the puck over and they send it down the ice trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end slides it diagonally to Hayden getting a little physical out there but still holds on to the puck and now it's grabbed by Tuck. Colorado's moving it into the offensive end. Oh, what a stop! Schultz lugging the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? Takes a shot! And he gets the block on that one to turn it away! The Eagles squander a golden opportunity to take the lead here. I really like what this PK unit has done. And James, in my experience, I know what it's like to be out there in a tie game. You want to execute your role to the best of your ability. You know what it's like to go down by one, and it's really deflating when it happens on a PK. So finding how to do it, getting it done, just did it. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And makes the save. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. In the final moments of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Quick pass to Burke. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. The Eagles played along the boards. Slick feed. McKinnon's got it in the defensive end. Gaining momentum along the boards. Puck scooped up by Studenich. Pad save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. Ivan's got it on the offensive end. Quick feed to Burr. Scores! Rips it off the pipe and into the net. Wow! He almost needed a double take there, James, when you hear that. Sometimes you think it says, but this 
one goes in. The well, goalies really like to stick it to their opponents and give them the stare down after a flashy glove save that hits the leather. Unfortunately, he gets embarrassed this time as he gets beat clean. Colorado's gone in front by a goal here in the first. Well, I really like the way they've competed here, James. They get the go-ahead goal, but they got to find a way to continue to attack. you got to play with killer instinct, especially when there's so much time left. Puck grab by Sepala. On the attack along the boards. Takes the puck. Good solid check, and he loses control of it. Coachella Valley's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come. Moves it to Hedman. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. And the defenders come up with the puck. With possession along the wall. And that skips away with a nice defensive deflection. Burke's been lighting the lamp at this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. The Firebirds have had a lot to like about their game so far here in the first, but yet they still trail in period one. And then carries off a stick. Scooped up along the wall by Winterton. Here's a short pass to Carrick. And that carries off a body in traffic. Thunderous collision along the wall. Smith's got it along the wing. Coachella Valley's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed. And he was ready for that save. Here's a shot. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Please remember to be alert at all times in our seating area. Even with enhanced safety measures, there are moments when a puck can be propelled into the spectating area with enough force to cause injury. So please stay alert at all times when the game is in play. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Coachella Valley's had the puck a ton in that opening frame, James. That's exactly what you want if you're the coach. You want to manage the puck. You want to own it in the offensive zone. They did just that. They just weren't able to convert. They find themselves trailing by one. If they can trust the process, they'll find their way back into this game. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 2-1 game. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. It goes off the post and off the crossbar. Coachella Valley's put a lot of pucks on net here to this point, but they still trail early in the second. Takes possession off the draw. Nice zone entry on the left side. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. This will glide into the dot. The Eagles take possession off the faceoff. Colorado's got the puck at center. Here's a shot. Shots him down. Carrick's got the puck in his own zone. They fight for it along the boards. Wrist shot from the slot. Stops him with the glove. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It was the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. 
Wright's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Center and team! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Off the face off, they take the puck. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Oh, what a great save by Holm! And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Odin's won the faceoff. Mosa quickly over to Ibao. Mosa puck along the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. The Firebirds have been generating a lot of pucks on net, but they still trail here in the second. The Frozen Biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. The Firebirds have played from the defensive zone. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Schooneman. Feeds it over to Burke. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Gets it over to McKinnon. And now he tries to get it across to Podorowski. Here's the chance in front. And it turns off a twig in front of the net. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Foody. Now a quick pass to Schooneman. He carries the puck up along the wing. The Firebirds gain possession along the wall. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Oh, he caught him! Oh, uh, that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. They'll go back to work on their special teams. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. A chance to clear. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they'll dump it in. Sends a pass over. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Eagles pick up Steven are on the attack. Monster Sun scores on the man advantage. He put one home. And this is exactly why you spend so much time in practice working on specialty teams. James, you can see that good movement to open up lanes, just disrupt the box there, and they're able to cash it in. Well, good things happen when you put the puck to the net, and this rebound comes right back out to him. But he's tracking, he's sniffing, he's hounded, and he finds the back of the net on his second shot. The Eagles have added to their lead, and they're now up by two, Cheryl. They've had a fantastic game so far, James, and you want to be consistent. You want to find a way to close it out. The only way you do that is continue. Don't change the mindset. Continue to press, and don't get complacent. James, this is a great play all the way around. A perfect pass to a perfectly executed shot as he sets up and waits for it right in his wheelhouse. Just lets the one-timer rip. Coachella Valley's changed the complexion of this game here in period number two with that goal. What's the strategy now here, Pounder? Well, it's a continue to push, and you want to dictate pace right off of the faceoff. You're within striking distance. You have your opponent on their heels. You've got to attack. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow! And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, boom, and he's down for the count. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Fires it! Still lots of time left here in this frame. Coachella Valley's trailing by one. 
The Eagles win the draw here in their own end. Smith's carrying it ahead. Coachella Valley's looking to break out of their own end. Gets the puck in deep. The Eagles have it now. Slides the puck to Smallman. Takes the pass. Lynn's got the puck. Centering pass. Off a stick and they can't complete the play. Picked off. Tried to be too cute on the pass. And that's turned aside. Angles it over to Olsen. Here's a shot. Denied. Lovely defensive effort. And that caroms off a body in the lane. He grabs the puck here at the point. The Firebirds have it now. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Quick shot, and that goes off course wide. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas and they try and get a little too much. Score! continue to attack. Oh, he's flashing the leather, looking for that huge glove save, James, but you gotta stop it first if you wanna make the highlight reel. That one winds up in the back of the net. Past the midway mark in this period. It's all tied up. The Eagles win the faceoff at center. And now he angles it across to Burke. The Firebirds look to start the transition game. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Burke's got it against the boards. And that's blocked away. Pushes it across to McKinnon. The Firebirds take it along the wing. Great heads up play by the defender. Slides it over with pace to McKinnon. Here's a shot. Oh, great save by Holm. Colorado's on the attack. Here's a chance. And he gets just enough to keep it out. Closes the gap along the wall. Robertson's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. The Eagles are going to serve two for tripping here. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Colorado's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And they clear that puck. They go on the attack from the left side. Shot! And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Kiro's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Wright's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Colorado's penalty killers get a hold of it. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Firebirds looking against the half wall. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Who's the puck? huge opportunity that they took advantage of, James. They were urgent on the puck, but they also showed poise and patience. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Boy, he looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. The Firebirds are finding that little extra pep in their step here in the second period and have taken a one-goal lead as a result. Well, they break the deadlock, and that's huge. Now you're playing in front, but I think this face-off and the shift that ensues is critical, James. Now you got your opponent right where you want him. You're back on their heels. Take advantage and try and get another one. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one-goal lead.
I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Colorado's looking to break out. And they continue to apply pressure here. The Eagles slide it through center. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Eagles gain the zone. Taken along the wall by Burke. And that was off the player in front. Scores! They tied it up. Opportunity knocking, and they take advantage on the power play. But you spend so much time in practice working on it because you want to have different layers to throw off the PK units. And I thought they did a real effective job of reading what they were giving, and then they were able to bury it. The Eagles have been pressing, and they finally get rewarded for that goal. They get rewarded, and now they can't sit back. They have to continue to attack and look to go ahead. Colorado's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. Moves it to Burke. Coachella Valley's got the puck in their own end. Hughes takes it along the wing. Handles the puck. And he comes up big with the stick save. Getting all of it with the paddle. Handles the pass. Valley's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. Coachella Valley's been battling entire game and it's been back and forth and still tied they were looking to get the go-ahead goal there with that good look he goes off the pipe here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away with the stop Carrick's moving the puck through his own zone on the attack they come down the right wing that knocks him off the puck the Eagles will play it in their own end here's a short pass to Kiro and that's broken up in the defensive zone by Olofsson. Fantastic save! What a fantastic save from the high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Moves it quickly over to McKinnon. Receives the pass. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Hey, fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team signed poster, which will give away before the end of tonight's game. After that second intermission, we're ready to drop the puck on period number three. There's been no shortage of firepower after the first 40 minutes, and we are underway here in the third. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Coachella Valley's on their way to victory if they can hold down this lead through the rest of the third. Well, it's all about game management, but they can't just sit back and hold on. Otherwise, their opponent, they will look to attack and they will take advantage. Put them back on their heels. Be in the offensive zone where they can't get an opportunity to attack you. 
broken up at center. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Now he takes it over the line. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Too many bodies in the way. Scores! And there's the hat trick, and this place is silent. Well, he's licking his chops when he goes on the road, he James, and he gets his hattie. I mean, he's been feeling it, but when he's on the road, he's something else. Smart play by the shooter here. The presence of mind to recognize that there's a lot of traffic and put it to the net. And the goaltender, I mean, he can't see this puck, James. We can't see where it is with all of these bodies net front, and it finds the back of the net. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Hughes wins it in the dots. From off the boards, he sends it into the open ice. And that's blocked. And we'll play on as that goes up the outside of the post. And let the habits and the shot selection right there, James, but it goes off of the pipe, doesn't go in the 4 by 6 and now they're chasing the game. Olofsson's taking it from his own end. Hughes looks around. And that goes off the play. Because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck, just incredible save, James. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. The official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Colorado's won the defensive zone draw. And he takes the feed. Here they come up along the wing. And he takes the feed. Oh, what a hit on the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle. Shoulder to shoulder. Laid it on thick. Here's a blast. Makes the save, but barely with that one. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important. There's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out looking your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Return pass. Quick pass to right. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Wright's going to play it to the corner. Holland's got it in the defensive zone. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. What a steal in his own end. Coachella Valley's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to McKinnon. A game of inches, and he puts it off the outside of the post. And that's blocked in traffic. The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. Knocked around, but keeps it going. We get a stoppage in playing almost anarchy in front of that net. Well, there certainly is. It was chaotic as the Ozone possession time is certainly up. They needed this rest. This was a great play by the tender. The Firebirds win the face off. They score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. We can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means. But it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. The Firebirds are in the enviable position of playing with the lead here in this first half of the third period after that goal. And I really like the style they've had to their game here, James. They've dominated in terms of possession time because of the reads they've made off one another. They've been patient with the puck, they haven't panicked, and they've looked to attack at the right times. Coachella Valley's got the puck along the boards. There's the whistle. We'll get a reset after the net was knocked off. Coachella Valley's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. Hughes won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Moves it to Hayden. And he takes the dish. And he slides it quickly to Flurry.
impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. It takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. Colorado's determined effort has resulted in the tying goal in period number three. They've had a lot of pushback and a lot of fight in this game. They've been poised. They've composed. But now they're finding a lot of fire in their step and a lot of jump as well. And they've got the equalizer, and they've got to continue on, continue to press, and contribute more. And the puck skips away after that move. Lynn's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. The Firebirds gain possession. Here's a short pass to Studenich. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from Buck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Moves it quickly over to Studenich. They go on the attack through center. Shot! Here's a shot! And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Defensive zone. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Shot stops that one. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The centermen glide into position. They win the draw and go on the attack. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Trigger. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Quick pass to Melanson. Oh, it just gets a piece of it. Puck battle along the boards. Sends the pass over. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans. There it is, the go-ahead goal. And how good does that feel? You can see the Selly. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battling for heat for it. He does it, and he buries it. Colorado's gone up by one here in this third period. A great spot to be in. You have the lead at the end of the third period. You got to find a way to hold it, though. You don't want to play too conservative. The reason why you got the goal is you were aggressive and on your toes. Shot! That's blocked. Picks up the puck. Shot! Trying to get the puck away from the inferno here. Ivans came the line on the attack. And kept the ball. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Coachella Valley's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. The Firebirds come up with a defensive zone draw. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. The Eagles grab possession with a puck. Burke stick handling in his own zone. Here's an odd man rush. Big time stop. Digger has been outstanding, tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The Eagles win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And that's poked away by Carrick. Colorado's got possession here in the offensive zone. 
Coachella Valley's through center and now in the offensive end. Colorado's got the puck. And he takes the pass. Oh, it's denied by home. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Oh, smart heads off play to put that one away. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Coachella Valley's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. And he missed the net. Well, he misses the net from a golden area, James. He's in the slot. He got hit from there. He didn't get many of those opportunities. as the goalie hangs on. Face-off coming up. They can smell blood here, I think. Yeah, they need to put their foot on the gas pedal because they recognize that the goaltender, he was under seas, James, and he really didn't get a chance to get much rest. Just gets enough to keep it out. Looks to pass it to Ricky. marker they needed on that last empty net of there, Cheryl. Well, outside of a major hiccup, that should be it, James. That should seal the deal. That lead should get the win. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the leg with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, the penalty's inconsequential, and they've been dominant all game, and just have a look at the scoreboard. This one's over. They've got the extra attacker out here for the faceoff. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. And they win the offensive side faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Here's a chance. A great team effort. And they're moving on as a result. The Firebirds need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. Wright's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. Shot and that goes off a of body. And it is over. They're moving on. They've got to feel good. Enjoy it, but this is one that you can't really savor for too long, right, Cheryl? Well, mission accomplished of step one, James. They get through the round, and they battled hard for it. Now it's about getting the rest and relaxation they need in order to recharge for the next series. Two teams that give no quarter. 
through the entire series, and then it comes to this. I love it. I love it as well, James. I mean, whether you're on the, the winning side or the losing side, this is a must. You have to find respect for your opponent who battled over and over with you through this series. They're giving us the go-home cue, so we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time here on EA Sports.